good evening uh, i am uh, mrs krishna ganguly again from online tutor our uh, today's uh, topic is nutrition in animals class 7 ncert book second chapter okay we have already done nutrition in plants today we will do nutrition in animals nutrition means when we take food and it gives us energy it assimilated in our body that is called nutrition okay so we animals today we will talk about animals animals get their food from plants either directly or indirectly by eating animals or plants animals how animal what is the food habit of animals animals uh, are not autotrophic you know that they can't make their foods they either depend on plant or animals directly or indirectly either they eat them or they uh, can get food from that directly or indirectly by eating them so what is animal nutrition includes animal in nutrition includes nutrient requirement mode of intake of food and its utilization in body animal nutrition includes nutrient requirement what are the nutrient that required in that animal's body that is very necessary according to that they are taking food mode of intake of food and its utilization in the body so what i have told that animals get their food from plants either directly or indirectly by eating animal or plants and what is animal nutrition includes what does animal nutrition include animal nutrition includes nutrient requirement mode of intake of food and its utilization in the body okay now let's move on to what is digestion digestion what is digestion if you are studying about nutrition you must know what is digestion the breakdown of complex compounds of food into simpler substances are called digestion the breakdown of complex components of food into simpler substances are called digestion when we generally take food it is actually complex in nature when you are taking uh, dal chawal dal is having protein and chawal is having carbohydrate also so uh, it is a complex component Le but after digestion this co complex component break down to simpler substances what i have told that dal is having protein so the dal the simpler form of dal is protein and the simpler form of chawal is carbohydrate so when the complex components of food breaks down into the simpler substances it is called digestion if it is not done then we often say like this that uh, no there is indigestion i feel indigestion that means the digestion is not complete that means the complex substances are ha haven't broken haven't been broken broken down into simpler substances that is the main form of digestion okay now digestion in human when we are talking about animals first of all we will learn about human what is the procedure of digestion in human and in that case we will learn today what happens into buccal cavity and in teeth what is the function of buccal cavity and teeth in digestion buccal cavity means the mouth portion the mouth portion we take food through our mouth 
so the mouth portion is buccal cavity the cavity ah that cavity is known as buccal cavity we take food through the mouth we know that first point is we take food through the mouth the food passes through a continuous canal which begins at the buccal cavity and ends at the anus now i am showing you this is the full structure of elementary canal in human being this is with teeth the cavity that is called buccal cavity then esophagus the food pipe esophagus is also known as food pipe then stomach liver gall bladder and after stomach there is a leaf like structure that is pancreas then small intestine this is this is small intestine that finger like projection this is called small intestine then this one is large intestine then rectum then anus so what have i told what are the part buccal cavity esophagus stomach liver gall bladder pancreas small intestine large intestine rectum and anus so the canal which starts from mouth you are uh, if you notice that this canal starts from buccal cavity and it's a continuous pipe this is food pipe or esophagus that opens at stomach so the canal is divided into various compartments first one is buccal cavity as i have told you then food pipe then stomach then small intestine large intestine ending in rectum and anus okay so this canal is divided into various components which canal the food passes through a continuous canal as i told you the food passes through a continuous canal which starts from buccal cavity and ends at anus in between the canal which is continuously running this canal is having some compartments which are buccal cavity food pipe stomach small intestine large intestine which ends at rectum and anus these all together form elementary canal so this is whole elementary canal this all parts together form elementary canal in human being so the the food components pass through food pipe and reach at stomach as i just told you that the we take food through our mouth that is buccal cavity then it passes through a continuous canal which ends at anus <coughs> but in between there are so many compartments so first of all when we take our food that first goes through food pipe or esophagus and comes to stomach okay so the inner wall of stomach and small intestine are having various glands associated with the canal the buccal cavity small intestine stomach all are having some glands okay these glands secrete some juices which help in the digestion of food digestion of food means it breaks down the complex food material into simpler substances like in buccal cavity you are having salivary glands which secretes saliva in our buccal cavity there are salivary glands which secrete saliva saliva also helps in 
digestion of food the breakdown of food okay then we come to liver the liver and pancreas secrete digestive juices liver and pancreas this leaf like structure is pancreas and it is very important part of alimentary canal liver and pancreas secretes digestive juices what is digestive juices the juices which helps in digestion of food it is a complex chapter so let's revise again first of all i have told you that animal get their food from plants either directly or indirectly by eating animals or plant animal nutrition includes nutrient requirement mode of intake of food and its utilization in the body then we have come to the point digestion what is digestion the breakdown of complex components of food into simpler one when the complex component of food breaks down into simpler substances that procedure is called digestion now we have come to digestion in human to know how in human digestion actually occurs we should know firstly what are the organs which work for digestion in human being so those organs are actually together for the alimentary canal which i have shown you by diagram when it it starts from buccal cavity then it is a continuous pipe that is esophagus or food pipe then it comes to an it uh, opens at stomach then after stomach pancreas liver then small intestine large intestine rectum and anus then we have come to the procedure when we take food in our mouth that is buccal cavity that food passes through the food pipe okay passes through the food pipe then comes to stomach then pancreas and from liver some juice secretes then after stomach it goes to small intestine then large intestine and then rectum then anus so firstly we are taking food through our mouth then the component pass through food pipe and reach at stomach okay then from stomach the inner wall of stomach small intestine are having various glands which secretes juices the liver and the pancreas also secrete di digestive juices first buccal cavity then food pipe then stomach then they are have they are they are It, it is having some glands which secrete juices then from liver and pancreas also some juices are secreted then the food goes to small intestine from stomach then small intestine then large intestine and then rectum then anus the digestive juices convert complex food component into simpler one so as i have told you there are so many digestive juices from stomach it secretes from pancreas and liver it secretes what are the function of this digestive juices these digestive juices actually help in breaking down of complex component of food into simpler one which is actually digestion of food next the digestive tract and glands together form digestive system digestive system actually the combination of digestive tract and glands tract means the continuous pathway and the glands which are present in stomach in buccal cavity in liver prime pancreas small intestine there are so many juices that are secreted from these parts so some there are some glands which secretes these juices these glands are actually jointly combined with 
digestive tract and make elementary canal or digestive system of human being now now we have come to the part of teeth in our elementary canal what actually the function of teeth the process of taking food into the body is called ingestion we have had intake of our food then the process of taking food into the body when we are taking food into the body that is known as ingestion after taking that food the food breaks down into simpler substances that is digestion so first there should be ingestion ingestion means to take food into our body when we are taking food that is known as ingestion and the first part which is taking the food is our mouth and there we are having teeth teeth are performing the function of tearing piercing the food into smaller particles otherwise if the food is that much big as we are taking that we can't even digest that properly so teeth is doing the grinding part the cutting part the piercing part of food so what is the function of teeth in our elementary canal whenever we are taking our food the big bite of any food teeth are actually helping to pierce to cut to grind that food into smaller particles so that after that when it reach at stomach when it reaches at stomach it can easily it it, it can easily have that function of juices in that so that the juice can easily transform the complex component of foods into the simpler one so teeth is making the work easy it is grinding piercing cutting the bigger portion the bigger bite of food into smaller particles so that it can be easily digested by the digest digestive juices okay so in our uh, mouth each tooth is rooted in separate socket in the gums that you know all that each tooth teeth each tooth is rooted in our mouth in a uh, uh, proper socket with the gum so teeth are having their teeth are having their proper their appropriate socket in which it is planted okay and we are having in human buccal cavity we are having four types of teeth incisor canine molar and premolar these are the four types of teeth we are having incisor canine molar and premolar four types and each type is having separate function some some teeth are piercing some teeth are grinding some teeth are helping in cutting some teeth are, teeth are helping in biting so you have to find out that which teeth are doing teeth are doing which part of job the front portion is incisor this one canine and the backward portion is molar and the last portion is premolar now you have to decide that which teeth is doing which function and in that way you can understand that actually teeth is making the work easy for the digestive juices so today we have learned about the buccal cavity the teeth portion what is the function of teeth in elementary canal what are the parts of elementary canal what are the organs that join together to form the 
elementary canal and we have learned about some glands that are present in our elementary elementary canal to secrete some juices which juices are actually helping in digestion of food in breaking the complex particle into the simpler one so point number 1 we are having our mouth through which we are taking food to take food inside our body is ingestion now that food passes through a continuous canal from food pipe to anus and in between it is having some parts of our organs which are the parts compartments buccal cavity food pipe stomach small intestine large intestine rectum and anus these all all together is forming elementary canal this is the diagram of elementary canal and stomach small intestine they are having some glands these glands actually secrete some digestive juices which actually help in breaking down the complex component of food into simpler one and liver and pancreas the pancreas is also secreting some digestive juices and then we have come to the teeth portion in buccal cavity we are having teeth in our mouth each tooth is rooted in separate socket in the gum and teeth are doing actually the uh, the tearing portion the piercing portion the cutting portion grinding portion of the food material and it is actually making the work easy for the digestive juices because it is breaking down the big uh, portion of food into smaller particles so that the digestive juices can work easily so today we have learned about teeth portion and buccal cavity in our next session we will continue with tongue food pipe and so on till then goodbye good night